that's our new name. So if you followed me for Creative Kids, this is our new name for summer, and this is our second Creative Critters. Um, but before we get started with that, I just want to do a little housekeeping. If you have not picked up one of our calendars for the summer reading and uh, just summer in general, go ahead and do that. You're going to want to do that. And our theme is Tales and Tales. Tales and Tales. Just so you know, um, you're going to want to do that because it's got our calendar of all the good stuff. You're looking for make and takes, you're looking for adult programming, you're looking for teen, tween, and just children's programming, all in here. So this is going to be your guide. You can also access this on our website. And so this is going to be your guide to summer. I also want to tell you guys, please sign up on Beanstack if you haven't already. Um, and it is a quick sign up. You go to our website and it will direct you to the Bean site or Beanstack site. And then what you do is you're going to, we need a name of the child, contact information, and that's where you log your, um, your minutes of reading. So just like before with our cute little uh, bingo card, we would say something like, read 20 minutes with a teddy bear. So you're still doing the cute little thing, but now we're having you add it on in Beanstack because weekly there's going to be drawings. If you are not signed up with Beanstack, you cannot sign up to win in the raffles, the weekly raffles. So what I would encourage family members, parents especially, to go ahead and sign you guys up if you haven't already. So our second uh, critter is a snake. And this is a really cool but simple idea. And i um, not so fond of snakes in person, but this snake I'm really happy about. If you probably can't hear him, but he makes a really cool noise. And you can see that I've added lots of links to him so he can turn. So you can make your snake as long, as short as you want to. This is a regular old chain um, or idea of a chain. So this is not exactly like the chains you would make for Christmas. And I'm going to tell you why and how you get this tight body likeness but he is fun so basically it's construction paper y'all so here's what you need <clears throat> you need four colors and or i'll tell you what i did this you don't have to do it this way but this is what i did i chose two different colors four sheets of each and what i did was i cut out strips four strips from each but basically just do them all at once because that's probably, if you can, if you have scissors or you have a cutter. Uh, <clears throat> so you can get about the same width. So you come up with uh, shards like this. Each one of the colors is going to produce 16. So that's 32 slivers altogether. You want to take a good chunk of them and cut them in half until you have this. This is what you're going to make your links with. It makes it tighter. So, um, and I chose colors that I thought would do, make a good shadow color and a top color. I like red and purple together, so my second one is going to be that. Um, and as you can see, I'm going to use red as my top color and purple as my side color. So here's what we did. Um, see how short this is oh so this is the first thing you need is your shards get your shards in out of the way you're gonna need some scissors tape is what we're using and uh, googly eyes and we'll talk about googly eyes or the eyes later um, glue school glue works and also uh, glue sticks but those are for later parts and I'll tell you about that um, and then you're gonna want a marker um, and that is pretty much all the things you need. So after you have your shards, here's what we're gonna do. You can see I've already started my second snake. I didn't wanna keep doing this on your time. I want you guys to have the time to create your snake. So you'll notice there's nothing on him. I have not added any design. I don't want you to do that first because what will happen is it's possible that your designs will 
be off kilter. So I would put my snake together first and then I would design, all right? So you can see, keep him clean while you're building him. And I'm not gonna build my snake as big as the first one just because I don't wanna take up the time from you guys. Um, again, I want you to see the idea and then create your own. So, and you see how tight this is. It's really tight and that's what you want to create the body. Just put your tape. There you go. Oh, well, not really. <laughs> there. Okay. If you need a little extra tape, go ahead. The tape doesn't show up so much, so it's it's all good. Um, and let's keep going here for a little bit. I'm going to make them a little longer before I show you how I did my head and my tail. So, so let the little people choose their colors. It you can see my colors are not natural. I don't know of a purple and red snake, but let them choose whatever color they like. Let them have fun. And I would say, even if you have older children, they might like to do this too. It's kind of fun. Um, yeah. Let's build it on out. So in mine, I think I have uh, over 30 pieces, I'm pretty sure in my first snake. So, if you want a long one, you're gonna just be sitting and, and making a chain for quite a while. But I would say, do it very carefully because these are tight and you could rip yourself. I mean, it's not that big a deal, but you don't wanna have to, you don't wanna waste any time either. So I'm gonna put one more red on here and then I'm gonna show you how to do the head and tail. And this is going to be my baby snake since I made a full grown one going at the first. All right. So there's that. And you can see you want it tight, but you don't want it so tight that they can't move. You want to still be able to move them. And this is just with tape, so it's still able to move. The bigger you do it, the more movement you're going to get. All right. So here's that, and that's what you have. So then I'm gonna come back over here. So don't cut up all of your strips. Save some of your longer ones. I am going to make my head red. I'm gonna show you what I did. Just a simple kind of triangular, but rounded triangular shape is what I did. And I will lift this up for you guys and make a little indention for the mouth, but then spread out your head. Kind of like that. Nothing perfect, nothing at all fancy. And if you have a better shape, do that. So then you're gonna cut that out. And I'm gonna leave my marker side up because it's gonna blend in with, you know, my uh, design that I'm gonna make. So I don't mind it showing. But if you do, if you feel like you didn't do such a great drawing or whatever, just turn it over. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave it a little long until I can see how it's gonna lay. You're gonna shove this down in, and he's gonna, and you can see at the side, it's gonna just be kinda up. I'm gonna tape both sides to the inside of that first bit of chain. And you see how he's still standing up. I'll show you how he lays down a little later. Okay, besides you could bend him down and that's fine. So, um, then I'm gonna put a, go ahead and little face design. And it's whatever you want. And I also cut out a tongue of a different color. You can see my little slithery tongue. And I'm gonna do that with glue sticks. I 
All right. So, so far, that's what we have. Okay. All right. So, here's the thing. If you don't have googly eyes, that's okay. You can use paper and you can make up your own slithered eyes. Um, you can see on my first one, let me show you here. I had um, some little kid bling um, and I just uh, basically, hang on just a second, I just put a little sliver in the middle of the red um, or of the jewel had it, um, so it's his eyes. And if you can see, it makes like the light dances in his eyes and it makes him just more, you know, spooky. Um, so that was fun and I th that's one thing you can use. You can also use regular googly eyes. And today I have little dragon eyes. So we're gonna use that. Um, and for this, you can use school glue. Today, I'm gonna use a little bit of my hot glue just cause I don't wanna take up your time with it falling on and off. And I'll just show you what it looks like. So there you go. And see, that lays the head down. So if you have heavier eyes, it does lay the snake head down and he looks more like he's slivering. So that's his head and that's his tongue and his eyes. So for the back side, I also wanna, I like both sides, the head and the tail matching. You don't have to do that. You can see over here, I did that. So let me show you the shape that I'm, I chose to do for that. Again, not a hard shape but I will just show you what I did. See these little marks like that? A rounded kind of end, like a rattling tail kind of a thing. So I just kept doing that until I was satisfied. You want it to come off a little bit because it is gonna be the tail. So I start tapering down and you leave a little bit at the front. So basically, that's the shape I'm choosing. Again, that's what I chose. You don't have to do that. You can make up your own snake tail. So again, I am going to cut that out and I'm gonna leave my black side showing with my outline because I'm just gonna incorporate it into my design. So, and I'm not going to show you, not going to design mine on here but I am gonna show you my other snake that is already completed and just show you some of the simple geometric shapes that you can use. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate because remember, it's, it's a chain, so you can use just simple shapes. And again, I, this is where I would let the littles just go, well, I would let everybody go nuts right here. You can do whatever you want. So again, it's cut out. So all we're gonna do is back here, actually, I'm gonna put on the red, one more red here. I want it to be red over red so it doesn't look a little weird. Put one more red here. I just like the cover of it. So, my snake head. And then we're gonna stick him down in. And you see that little bit I left open? That's just so you can tape right there. And it won't matter. And again, it's sticking up right now, but we can bend it down in the end. So, there's that. And, just remember to tape both sides inside that very last coil that you do. Okay, and it wants to kind of get stuck, so you can take your scissors and just mash it down, so you're not trying to put your finger back down in there and break it loose. So, there you go. And then you can just curl it like that. And so there is our snake. And this is when the kids get to go to work on their design, and I would let them design away. 
So I'm gonna show you this again. If you'll notice on my top side, basically it's just a diamond and two lines on either side, all the way down. It makes a pretty cool um, design. You turn it over to the side and I've done every other chain with a dot and then every chain has like three lines at the top and three lines at the bottom. Again, very simple, but creates a good design. And if you'll notice, I did at the top one and the back one, make my lines a little thicker in the middle, just to give it a little pizzazz. And so on the bottom, I even did my little sliveries on the bottom. So I would say create a way let them design their snake however they want. And if you'll notice, see how easily that moves in and out? And you can hear that sound. It sounds like a slivery sound. So you guys have fun with this. Create some really awesome snakes. And now that I can see you in the library, you should bring your snakes to see me. Or you can take a picture of your snake and send it to Yolanda at scotthublib.org and yours may show up on a website. All right, guys, we will see you in the library.